Hi, I am Pushkar Patwardhan, DSP Software Architect at Tensilica Cadence and today we are going to talk about the Fusion G6 uh, which is a new DSP from the Fusion G family of Tensilica DSPs. Let us start by taking a quick overview of the instruction set features, the instruction, instruction set architecture features of the Fusion G family comparing the G3 and the G6 for the various features. The Fusion family is a family of VLIW vector processors. Uh, both of them are 128-bit four slot VLIW machines. So they can issue four operations in one instruction bundle. They are single instruction multiple data machines and for 16-bit elements, the Fusion G3 is 8-way, whereas the Fusion G6 is 16-way. For 32-bit fixed point elements, the G3 is 4-way, whereas the G6 is 8-way. In terms of the data path widths, the load store unit and the vector register files width for the G3 is 128-bit, 256-bit for the G6. For the data caches and memories, again 128-bit wide for G3 and 256-bit wide for the G6. The instruction cache and memories are 128-bit each for each of them for uh, G3 and G6. The compute capabilities, both the Fusion G3 and G6 support a number of different data types, a fixed point as well as floating point. For 16-bit 16 16-bit 16 fixed point multiplies, uh, the Fusion G3 can do 8 multiplies per cycle and the Fusion G6 can do 16. 32-bit fixed point multiplies 4 per cycle for Fusion G3 and 8 per cycle for Fusion G6. Single precision floating point 4 per cycle for G3 and 8 for G6 and double precision floating point 2 per cycle for G3 and 4 for G6. So in general, the, G, the G6 and G3 are an ISA compatible family of, of DSPs and the G3 is twice as wide and has twice as much compute capability compared to G3. Uh, in addition to the features, these features listed here, both of the DSPs uh, can be enabled uh, optionally enabled with, a, with an IDMA feature, an IDMA block which is an internal DMA which can be used to transfer data between the local memories and the system memory. As an example, let's take a look at radar signal processing uh, and the, uh, a signal processing pipeline for radar looks something like this. There is a range Doppler processing which does FFTs and FIRs. Both the Fusion G3 and G6 have efficient instruction set uh, for, for doing FFT and FIR kernels. There is a detection module in radar which, which does the constant false alarm rate processing uh, which involves min max operations uh, and sorting like operations uh, which which can be done using both the G3 and G6 vector min max and other selection operations uh, on the on the vector uh, register file. The next module is an angle estimation module which are linear algebra operations and for linear algebra operations the floating point support, floating point instructions of the G3 and G6 can be used and then there is a tracking module which implements tracking algorithms like the Kalman filters where again the floating point support of the G3 and G6 can be used. As uh, the radar, radar evolves to a high resolution radar support uh, which increases the compute capabilities, G6 can be used uh, with its increased uh, data width and increased compute capabilities for implementing the processing. So that was an overview of the Fusion G family, in particular the Fusion G6, which is a new DSP, and an example 
of radar processing and how it can be mapped uh, on the fusion G uh, ISA features. Thank you for watching. See you again in a next video.